Pitch Perfect 2 was a phenomenal success for the studio. The sequel took an almost triple of what the original film made when it took home over $285 million at the box office on a measly $29 million production budget. So it should come as no surprise that a third film is on the way. Now The Hollywood Reporter is reporting that Elizabeth Banks has signed on to direct the third film also. John, what do you think of Elizabeth Banks returning to direct Pitch Perfect 3? Well, Pitch Perfect, the first one, was a real pleasant surprise to me. I was late to the game. I ended up watching it much, like, after its theatrical run was done, and I was really surprised by how much I enjoyed it. Like, it was a really fun little film. And Elizabeth Banks came in to do the second one, and look, I would break international war crime laws for Elizabeth Banks. I <laughs> love me some Elizabeth <laughs> Banks a lot. Mm. But... Pitch Perfect 2, which was uh, Elizabeth's first directorial debut, I thought it was a step down from the original uh, Pitch Perfect. I still enjoyed myself, but it was a significant, I thought, decline. And I think a lot of that decline had to do with the direction. So, now granted, it was her first film. I'm curious to see how much she's grown on all that kind of stuff. But I, I got to admit, I'm a little pessimistic about her coming back to do a third one. Hopefully, fingers crossed, she's she's learned a lot. She's going to knock it out of the park. She's got a couple of other um, uh, directorial things two more films lined up besides pitch perfect i can't remember the names of them right now but so hopefully she's going to bring a lot more experience to the table and we're going to see a better version of pitch perfect too so we'll see how that goes Schnapp, what about you yeah i also was late to the table as far as seeing the first film i saw it on on cable and i i thought it was fun it, was yeah, it really fun. was it was a fun film i didn't see pitch perfect too so i can't uh, comment on her directing style i am happy for her though i think she's a really great actress and she obviously made the studio a lot of money with Pitch Perfect 2. Yeah. So whether, you know, she's the greatest director in the world is not really that important as opposed to like, hey, whatever you did in the second one, we want you to come back and do it in the third one because whatever you did made us a buttload of money. So Yeah, well, now it's going to be called Elizabeth Banks's Pitch Perfect, so that's, that's right. the difference <laughs> in the poster. Um, I, I'm not a huge fan of this decision yet, and I hope I change my tune once I see the movie because I do I believe... I see what you did there. See? Change uh, your tune. See what uh, I mean? uh, she is... She's got... Obviously, I love her as an actress. She's great as Effie Trinket. She's great in a lot of movies. Like that People Like Us movie she was in with Chris Pine, I think, but Phenomenal in that. Could have gotten nominated. She was that good. Behind the camera, I just don't see it yet. Pitch Perfect 2 was a disappointment to me. I still enjoyed it a little bit, but I think it had so much more potential. You can get so much better as a director. It's like any other crap. You can get better and better with more reps. So I hope that she comes back and crushes Pitch Perfect 3. Because I like this franchise. I really do. Yeah, me and, too. And, Chef, you made a great point. It made a lot of money for the studio. So this might be a situation where they're like, you know what? We know artistically it wasn't the achievement the first one might have been. Let's not change anything with Pitch Perfect 3 because we want that $70 million opening no, weekend. That's right. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.